Uh, love to bring uh, our former FTC Commissioner Mazel uh, Thompson back in with us as well. Just get your reaction to what you heard from the opening statement. I think that those are pretty broad allegations, and um, that may be his sense of it, but I would be interested to hear what the company's response is, because obviously they must have some protections or else they wouldn't be this far along in a consent order without any red flags or alarms. Now, at the same time, um, I'm a little worried about what he's, although he's alleging these potential access breaches, have any of those breaches actually occurred? Did he witness anything that indicates that foreign actors or improper activity occurred on his watch? And how did he respond to those? I, I would be curious to hear that. And I'm sure the, SC, uh, the FTC and also the SEC is going to want to hear about that, too, to the extent he's also opened with this allegation that there's a larger attempt to mislead the public. Right. Unclear whether senators will follow up on that key question, though, isn't it? I mean, oftentimes That's true. this is about theater more than anything else, and they have a, an opinion that, or at least a, a viewpoint that they simply want to get through to their constituents. Well, I'm always reminded, someone gave me this advice when I came to Washington, that when you appear before a Senate or a House committee, it's about the senators and the House members and what they have to say. Right, right. You know, the FTC itself, Mazel, particularly because you know the institution well, do they employ outside auditors to, to do these kinds of audits? You know, is there any question in terms of their competency, frankly, in, in uh, understanding what's going on at these companies and whether they are adhering to the standards that have been set? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, one of the things that happens in this case is if you look at the initial settlement agreement, the consent order, it required that Twitter for 10 years uh, engage in regular biannual audits, and that had to be provided to a third party. I don't know who the third party was, but I presume that that third party also has the ability to understand the information they're getting and to ask questions. And finally, back to this bigger uh, picture question that I kind of asked, but we had to cut you off to get to his opening statement. You know, what does something like this say about what a, consumers can expect from these enormously complex companies that control so much of their data? Well, it's always a difficult uh, expectation to, uh, to have a company with that much traffic to be able to control everything, especially when there's a platform based on other people, third party posting on your platform. It's always going to be a challenge and it's always going to be rapid moving. Um, the, the traffic is absolutely enormous. But I also think that it's an opportunity to educate the public about their own role in controlling the information that's out there. And that's going to be really, really important. It's a thin line here. Yeah. Mazel, always appreciate your, uh, your taking time with us. Thank you. My pleasure. Mazel Thompson.